as well as independent LFOs, Oddity 2 also allows independent ADSRs to be applied to almost any of the main parameters. In this case, we're going to apply it to the sub-oscillator of an otherwise silent patch by firstly clicking on the sub-oscillator audio mixer slider and then applying a degree of amplitude. As soon as the amplitude is cranked up, you'll see the sub-oscillator mixer audio slider turn blue to indicate that it's this we're affecting. Then we set a 4 beat attack time and listen to how this affects this control. Changing the decay and sustain values will change this further and here we've set a 12 beat decay and a sustain level of around 25% to create a slow contour for this particular parameter. Now this is fine on its own, but it's really nothing that can't be done via a traditional ADSR. However, let's copy this onto the VCO1 slider and change the attack time here to 12 beats. Then let's change the pitch of VCO1 to plus 12 so we can hear a distinct difference in tone when we play a note. First you hear the sub-oscillator ramp in and decay to sustain level followed by VCO1. Now this is just a very basic example of what can be done and barely scratches the surface. But let's take this for an example. Apply both positive and negative envelope contours to the coarse tune of each VCO. Then feed the results through a filter modulated by a square wave LFO and apply an ADSR contour to the resonance control. So put simply, the XLFO and XADSR take what's seemingly a simple instrument and puts it into modular territory 